Hello everybody, good morning. It's currently early for us. Some of you probably get out way earlier than this. But it's currently 10 to 8 in the morning. We've just picked up the McDonald's supplies. Because um, clearly we didn't have time for breakfast before. But we're on our way to go A in the Forest of Dean. Which I actually love the Forest of Dean. I constantly search for houses now. I just need to convince Tom to move. Um, so yeah, I thought I would bring you along. I don't know if it'll just be like a day vlog today or whether I roll it over to tomorrow. But when I'm home, I'll show you the updates that um, we've done to the yes, house. Okay. Um, but yeah, we are going to head on our way now. Eat our breakfast and we'll talk to you when we're at Go Eat. We've got two very excited children, aren't we, kids? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of nervous, but I just... I know, I know you can't see that. She is back there. Hold on. Oh, she is. Play the game. Play Minecraft. Yeah, we've got an issue with her iPad as well. Her iPad decided to just flash last night. I think I've got a hat to Roblox. Oh, maybe not. So we're probably going to have to try and go up to the Apple store at some point today. It's not even two years old, the iPad. So my charger's broken on my phone. Um, so my I just feel like Apple products. Broke. Yeah, all his bike tire broke. Lisa's got fixed. Dad is putting fuel in the car. Me. Yeah, we've got all his bike fixed. Petrol I'm coming now with apologies. Holding back, I got history. morning everybody so it is now the next day i'm fully aware i completely left you while we were at go ape but i stupidly my phone, uh, phone my camera was blinking at me um because the battery was Sorry. about to die um and my i didn't take my replacement one in with me my like spare one so i did get some <coughs> other footage on my phone which is what you saw just prior to this clip um, but that's why the angle looks a bit uh, different to my normal camera footage but yeah the kids really loved it um so i would highly recommend it they do go ape actually in loads and loads of places all up and down the country because when we were oh this is our certificates that they got um darcy and the man actually spelled my name right yeah he did actually he didn't even ask you did he and ollie ollie yeah he didn't even ask me no so yeah i was looking at booking um chessington i think i said in one of my other vlogs and i said to tom they do have a go ape um just outside so what i was going to do if you didn't need um two days in the park which i've since found out that you it is recommended that you do two days in the park i was going to say we could do like the next morning two days in the park um go ape but i think we're going to scrap yeah but i think we're going to scrap go ape for when it's like mid summer holidays and try and go on one of the days before they start back to school maybe because i've seen a lot of posts on um facebook where people have gone and they've had some issues with the some of the rides um don't do that because it'll shake the camera they've had a lot of issues with some of the rides that are broken so people have actually been issued with like a free return and they've said the queues are horrendous which i guess is to be expected now obviously everything's open back up and it is some holidays but yeah and it just wouldn't be enjoyable um like because ollie doesn't necessarily go on some of the same rides as darcy so i'm just getting ready so it is uh monday morning tom's obviously back at work i've said this lots of times but obviously if you're watching from the uk you already know we're in our summer their summer holiday break um so yeah we haven't really got much planned for today i do need to pop to the post office to 
post some a parcel off um but you can probably see behind me my bedroom looks rather crazy this was the update i was going to give you um i might just do it now actually while the camera's on so i'll well end up sitting here for another half an hour vlogging so what we decided to do is just excuse everything because it's all obviously just moved around um we weren't going to touch this bedroom because we were going to move into the loft but um that's just a whole nother story i'm not even going to go into right now because i can um but as it stands we're just going to keep the bedrooms as they are um so the towel on the back just ignore that is because tom's painting but we are going to do paneling on this back wall so you can see tom's marked out the design i want so i want like a smaller square the same size smaller square down there, and then just a larger square in the middle um so he's got the mdf to do the paneling but what we actually did is we just painted over the wallpaper because it was really smooth this back wall was never plastic because it was always like a feature wallpaper wall um obviously these walls are plastered but it's covered really well and i think just for a temporary measure it's going to be fine so hopefully the paneling will go on later i've switched my light out um just needing painting around there and then that uh, rose hood can go back up to the ceiling but yeah i just got this from my kit it was 13 pounds and i think the rose was five or six I pounds really you do yeah i got you a new bulb didn't i yeah. um yeah. not changing the curtains because they're fairly new anyway and we went with this was our sample options we went with this third one down which is dulux egyptian cotton he's just done a sample out of the tin that we bought there and there because that first one was from the sample pot but we wanted to make sure it was the same out of the main pot so yeah that's all good um these doors are being replaced we're going to have sliding doors and i think we're going to really slightly open up the doorway to take it more towards the light switch because if i open up inside i think i've shown this before um but you'll see the wardrobe actually goes right back down now i mean this was just temporary when we moved into this bedroom but it's quite hard to get into and this is just a stud wall so it would just make sense to open it up a little bit more oh to give ourselves more access but um i've had a bit of a sort out i know it doesn't look like it but i've got quite a lot of baby girl stuff hanging up in here some of her stuff there i've sorted her caddy out there and then i have also excuse my drawers they are not organized so we're going to ignore those this is all of her newborn bits and then just down here so i got these storage boxes from ikea i need to get another pack but they only had one set this is first size um so that will go in another drawer i need to just organize so she's got another drawer in here um so yeah um what was i going to update you on i was going to update you i did go to um my growth scan on saturday actually because they're really swamped with everything going on and their appointments are behind. So I went on Saturday and um, had the growth scan. Everything that's fine, they're estimating her weight currently at four pound 12, I think, which I was fairly shocked at because Darcy, I know I've said this before, was only four pound 15 born. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't think my bump, let me give you a bit of a bump update, I'll turn the camera this, uh, don't, don't matter what way I turn the camera, it's just not pleasing at all in this bedroom at the moment. Um, let me flip it around i'll show you in the the mirror we are going to organize this bedroom i promise um so yeah there she is she's growing nicely my hood came to actually for the buggy so i'm going to get that down out of the loft and we'll attach the hood i might take it over to my parents house because i know i've said before they only live opposite but yeah we're just going for comfort today <laughs> but my calf is really sore there um because i had another cramp in the night and then i've been hobbling around but yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready and then um, maybe head to the post office and then we'll be back. Maybe we can do some organising together, put the hood on the bug in and I'll probably take that with my parents later because I just don't want it to go back into the loft because it's rather annoying having to get up and stuff up and down out of there all the time. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get ready now and then I'll check back in with you a little bit later. Okay, so it is a lot later now. It is actually quarter to nine um but really i wanted late. to it is yeah and you're really it is it's after your bedtime but i wanted to show you i'm just out in the um utility it's cool that I um ollie come here baby <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to just show you um some updates and then i'll probably have to call it a night tonight and then i'll come back on tomorrow 
but I went to Ikea, excuse me, that's my washing to put away. Um, so this is how this area is just so perfect because I can sort all the washing and it's there. But I want, I was going to put a drying rack up here. Can I put my drying in the fridge? Yeah. Um, but I changed my mind just because I thought the area is fine for when I need to dry um, clothes. Just excuse my cardigan. But it just needed something here. So I bought this. Obviously you've probably seen these everywhere because they're, they're like quite a big feature in people's homes. Um, but I just thought it looks really nice with that. My sign that I love. And then I want to get a little pot from B&M because I bought these. Because I had a few comments about my tumble dryer because I've been struggling with it to get things to dry. So I bought these from Home Bargains, they're like tumble dryer wool balls, game changer. So if you're struggling as well, I highly recommend them because I've had no issues whatsoever. Um, I also have got some storage from eBay, so I'm planning on doing an organising video because I've started to get a few of baby girl bits down. So the idea is I want to put like bottles and things in here. Um, in case obviously we need them when she's here and then I picked this up for my hospital bag So I'm planning on getting that together so I can film that for you um, So yeah, that's just a little update out here So I think what we'll do just excuse the state of my house though. I'm gonna go upstairs Oh, I'm gonna go upstairs and show you the pan I'm in so far yeah. So the plan is I'm going to prime this tomorrow, I think. <laughs> What's the point, <laughs> Can we not just leave the bed? So we've got the bed obviously pulled away from the wall. But <laughs> it's, it's touching the um, chest of drawers. Could we not just leave the bed lettuce for tonight? Yes! Why? And I'm sat in the bed. Or I just pull it forward before you go to work. I'll just make sure I get up early. to walk at like 3 a.m. Who does not? You, you get out so, yeah, at this, at uh, uh, 10, I wish. Yeah, so, this is what I'll send. So, this square here is equal to that bottom God, one. Yeah. Ollie, shush. And then. The middle one's just a bit slightly bigger. So it's a bit different to Darcy's. I'll go in there and show you in a sec. But I'm thinking because of the size of this headboard, it the originally we were gonna do four equal ones, but I just think it looks a little bit if I go back. It does look better like that, doesn't it? Because of the headboard. Do you know what I mean? It just looks it just makes it look more like introduct. <laughs> 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 Darcy language. So yeah, we just need to prime the, when that filler dries. Oh no, I guess that'll need to be sanded, won't it, when it's dry? Yeah, sand and it's all got to be gunned in as well. Oh, okay, wow. so I won't prime. Okay. Well, I was trying to be helpful because there's about a million yeah, jobs on the go. Before you called it. Okay, maybe I'll do that. I just wanted to do like a little job to help out because obviously I'm, like, there's about a million things on the go. Um, so yeah, can you see how her square, so she actually does have four if I show you. See, hers are equal, but I feel like it looks really nice in here because her bed, obviously she doesn't have a huge headboard like what we've got. So that, well, we were going to do that originally, um, but that panel in will still work in our room, even when um, we eventually do the loft and Ollie goes in there. You know, we can but hope for these things. You would like that panel in, wouldn't you? Would you like that panel in? Yeah? So yeah, I'll just obviously probably change the colour of it for Ollie. Yeah. It but it's alright. Blue! Right. Blue. <laughs> blue and green. Blue, okay, oh, blue and green. That's good colours, Ollie. Yeah, so that's it for today. Not much. I did not mean to have that much of a gap. But it's been a bit of a day, in to say the least. So, did we say about the iPad being broken? No. So Darcy's iPad that she had for Christmas, not this Christmas, the Christmas before, so it's not yet, yeah, it's not yet two. I'm gonna put the light, no, it's not too dark in here, is it? It's really dark in here, but it's coming off quite bright on camera. So yeah, her iPad just turned off while she was using it. She thought she that the battery had gone flat. Yeah. Um, but she said it had 65, so I just assumed obviously it obviously didn't. So we put it on charge and it just kept doing a loop of the white screen with the black apple. 
and we couldn't get it to restart we couldn't sync it we couldn't restore it we couldn't do anything to it so we took it to the apple store the guy tried to restore it as well um so he said like is it backed up because obviously you're going to lose everything so she was a bit upset about that but obviously it was either that or no ipad if that's the only option but it wouldn't restore so it came up with an error code which was like 4013 something like that and when I've looked at it, it's to do with a software malfunction and it will not turn, off, turn on, sorry. And they simply just said to us, um, it can't be replaced, it's something internally, it can't be fixed. So it's out, you've had it a year and a half, so unfortunately it's over the 12 months. So you need to just purchase a new one. I'm like, mm, not when I paid 300 pounds for it. So I was a bit upset, so this was yesterday. I cried. So she was really upset, which then upset me, because obviously that was a, Christmas present that we bought her and it cost us like 300 pound so then today I've phoned around to see if what the place we bought from if it was a 12 month or two year guarantee I've tried the home insurance I've tried the gadget insurance none of it will cover it the home insurance excess is like 250 quid 250 pounds which is more than the amount that Apple was sent to buy a new one so I'd kind of like had that and just was like great what am i supposed to do because i don't really want to just be forking out on an ipad that's just died after a year and a half just... and then ollie's scooter is broken that he had for his birthday last year so that That's micro scooter true. so it just felt like it was like one thing after another so i kind of just like lost lost it earlier so it's been a bit of an evening um but yeah i just wanted to come back on but i wanted to talk to you about this so I think I've mentioned before, so I wear completely natural deodorant, obviously just for my own reasons. Yeah, so I was just using the Sarah's Day Pity Party, uh, which is amazing, I love it's not it. so good. Yeah, it is amazing, but obviously that ships from Australia, so the price of the product isn't too bad, but when I put on the shipping costs and then the customs charge to get it in, that is oh. more than the actual cost of the product. So although I love it, it's just obviously not something I could really maintain. So every time it's Christmas, I would ask for one. Um, but yeah, and then obviously you've got to wait for it to come. So I saw this brand on, um, on, yeah, on Instagram. So I ordered it and I managed to get a free case. So you get a case that you can choose from. It's like an okay. aluminium case. Um, I went with the rose gold. And then basically what you do is you choose the scent of the refill that you want inside. Um, I went with Pina Colada, which is limited edition, so I don't know if it'll still, you have to check on the website if it's still there and available, but because I got the case for free, I ended up just paying £5 for the cartridge, so when it runs out, you just have a new cartridge posted to you, which is free postage, um, for £5, so I thought, oh, that's good, so it came, and I've been using it, and it's really, really good, like, it so, smells so good, yeah, Darcy loves it, and TMI, I'm sorry, but it just kept me, like, really dry, and I have a problem with, um, Ew. natural deodorant keeping me dry, so I'll leave a link, because they've actually sent me a code, so I paid for this, it's not sponsored or anything, but they did send me a code that you can get a free case, so the cases were £7, I think. So you don't ever need to purchase one of these again. You would just get the refill to go inside of it when it runs out. So if you use the link in the description box, that will get you a free case. And then you just need to pick what scent of refill you want. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that, but I'll leave it down below because it's a full link. Um, and then I didn't get round to getting the buggy down out of the loft today. So I'm going to see if I can get Tom to get it or I'll just try and get it tomorrow. Because I want to put the hood on. So I went with... The, let me balance over here. We we'll use Ollie's Hot Wheels. Oh, All of this stuff cluttered in my front room has got to be good for something. So, <coughs> the only hood I could find is for the new B6, Bugaboo B6, which I did really want the frame, but obviously it's a bit pointless. There's nothing wrong with my frame, but I just went with black. But I really like this because. So you just get the hood, you don't get the bars or anything, but they're just standard anyway, so I've already got those. But it's got like the little peephole. I don't know if you can see. Oh, can you see there? So obviously that's mesh, it's breathable. It's a lot thicker than the one that I had for Ollie. I had like a dark grey one on Ollie's set upstairs, so I'll probably sell that hood. But this is waterproof as well. So yeah, I think that'll look really nice with her carry cot because that's all black and then obviously she can have like a pink blanket and whatever inside so i'll try and get that down so that if i come back on in the morning i'll just show you how it looks on there and then i can add that onto this and then upload it in one so you can just see it all together but yeah i just wanted to pop back on tonight because 
I'm sorry where I've always said I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, so it's the next day, as promised I'm popping back on. So I've actually um, just managed to get the carry cot out of the loft. Um, and then what I wanna do, these are the like poles that I said are standard. Um, so I wanna attach the hood to it and just see how it looks. And then I'll probably just take it all back off again. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to figure out how it all comes apart because I think I want to wash. Do I want to wash this? I don't know. I might not wash this. I might just spray it. Um, I know it comes apart, but like the mattress, would you really wash that? Where's the guide? Does it say? So I don't want to. Oh, it comes off. Yeah, I will. I'll wash everything actually because it's that's really good. It just literally comes off of there. So yeah, I will wash it because as I said, this I didn't buy this carry cot new. I did buy it um, pre-loved. And then I've also got down. My goodness, can't move. I've also got down my sleepy head. So I want to strip all the covers off of this and wash it. And then oh, pass that, Ollie. And then I've got the feeding cushion down. So I want to. I did buy this new, but. Um, I just want to wash it so i'm doing the blankets next so i thought i can wash our blankets with her stuff because i've got her washing like liquid and stuff so i want to wash that in here. yeah i'm gonna wash them both because they're a bit dirty aren't they so yeah let's yeah. let's do the hood first of all i think um, you can have yeah so basically the hood will attach to the buggy when she's sitting upright but she won't be in that part of it until she's six months so for the meantime, it will just sit on this carry cot. So I've said before, I don't know how often we're gonna use the carry cot, um, but I just want to ask why I didn't buy it brand new. But yeah, I'm gonna figure this out and then we'll put it on. right here but i can't be bothered to be fiddling around with it but i'll give you a gist of what it's supposed to yeah. look like because obviously i'm going to take it apart and need to wash it so it's basically the the so this is a carry cot um that's the hood yeah and this is her but i think i've got these two mixed around the wrong way because it's meant to be really simple like usually when i've used this before it just pulls straight up so it's obviously something should me. But yeah, I'm pleased that the black all matches. I'm glad we went with the all black. So now I'm going to strip everything off and get it ready to go in the wash. But let's take, because I've got a white load that'll be going in next. Um, it's all for baby sissy, isn't it? So I don't really need to wash this, but I want to, because I want it to smell all nice. It's not. Mum, what mummy will do is she'll put it around her like this. He's never seen any of this. And then baby Cecilia lay there and mummy can feed her. Oh, I'm it's so that. soft. I'm I'm gonna have a quick go then. Then I've got to um, sort all out. <laughs> so, oh, so when you hold baby Cecilia, you you would sit down on the sofa and then that's it. And then she would lay on you. So it doesn't... Like this? Yeah. Because I've been telling him that he, he needs to support like that. And it like a photo. It does, yeah. Right, can mommy take the cover off? <laughs> yeah. So, I like really like this cover time. actually. Because it's just like, just plain. And the cushion is really nice because it's not too hard. Um, with Ollie, I had the boppy, I think it is. So this isn't that. This is just, what is it? Who makes it? I don't know who makes it. Cuddles collection. Cuddles collection. So I think they do do different um, like covers, but I quite like this white one. But I, as I said, I showed this in one of my other vlogs. I got this from HomeSense. It was twelve ninety nine. Put that in the basket for me then. And then this, I did buy this off of eBay. So this is pre loved. Um, and it's so nice. I have made it before. It's comfy, isn't it? So the yeah. lady said. I'm gonna make it again. Well, hold on, mum. Right, quickly then, because I've got to do the um, covers. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, the lady said it was barely used because her baby didn't um, like it very well. And to be honest, when I've looked at it, 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 I can't see that it looks like, other than the tag isn't on it, I don't know if it comes with the tag. <laughs> oh, look at the baby all in there. Um, but yeah, I just want it to smell like, obviously, her washing. Ah, so that's it's so why. Solid. Can I take this off now? Yeah, it's got a bit of cardboard in there so it keeps its shape. So yeah, I want to um, wash it so it smells like like our washing and her washing that she's gonna have. Come on, I need to shave, like shave with her. So I think keep this in so we'll keep that. It looks like a graveyard sign. Does what, it? Yeah. What does it say? Let's not bend it or anything because it helps keep the shape, darling. What does it say? I think you can wash it. Yeah, you can. What does you it say? You literally have to strip. So that's that comes out of the bottom. It says keep the insert because it helps keep the shape of the cushion. Oh. And then I'm the other zip. Zips. What are you, zips? I'm oh, they're here. So, yeah, and then it's got this cushion here. So, basically, you just need to take everything I'm out. Just so, I also got down from the loft the. I don't. I cannot remember if I ever showed this in one of my vlogs, but this is what I'm gonna do in a separate video. So I did start to do it now. Um, excuse if the washing machine is banging, I've got a load on. But I'm gonna do a whole like organizing video. So I've got down the perfect prep machine. As I said, this is something we might not need, but it was on offer. I got this quite a while ago. Um, yeah, I got this quite a while ago from Tommy Tippy just in case obviously breastfeeding doesn't go to plan and we need to bottle feed us. So I've got this one and it's the day to night one. So I had the original with Ollie, but this is like all digital. So I'm planning on getting it all set up on the work top right here. Then we also have the sterilizer, but it's like a bundle. So it comes with the sterilizer, like a bottle warmer, different sets of bottles. So I've got all of that that I want to set up. And then what I have bought in here, I'm waiting for some more to arrive, which is why I'm not starting it today. So um, this cupboard here, which is the wall unit cupboard, obviously this will just store like our spare milk, um, etc. And then I've got a couple more of these coming. So I get these off of eBay, I'll link them below, but I'll include them in my organizing video. But I want like her bottles to be in here. And then um, this is gonna go in my, hospital bag and then obviously if she has any milk tins whatever there and then I can keep like things like the bottle heater the bag as an accessory there so it's just all in one place so this is kind of be, going to be like our little bottle area even if I breastfeed I'm planning on keeping the pump in here and then obviously I can pump into bottles but I am gonna get because I've been recommended the mam bottles so I had this one free but I'm gonna get another set of those I think I use these with both Darcy and Ollie and really like them but I just want to try the man ones as well um so yeah so I think I'm gonna stand you in the cupboard where should I no too high yeah so I think I'm gonna end this vlog here um and then I'm gonna try if the trays come I'm gonna try and do the organizing video for Friday um and then i'll continue to like obviously daily vlog and then i've got my baby shower so there's lots of exciting content coming up so stay tuned for all of that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and if this is the first video of mine that you've clicked on i hope you'll consider subscribing it's completely free it just basically alerts you when i upload a video um so we'd love to have you part of our family here also hit the notification bell notification bell yeah she um watches a lot of youtube this little one <laughs> um but we will see you in our next video so take care everyone and we'll see you on friday bye, bye.